Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm so silly. Ah, I hit myself. Hi everyone. I am reviewing the Face Dis V2 Gamdias headset. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Maybe it could be He Festus. <laughs> anyway, comment below what you guys think it should be pronounced as because I am very curious. Um, I should actually Google what Hephaestus means and I'll update you guys in the video. According to Wikipedia, Hephaestus is a Greek god of fire, metalworking, stone masonry, forges, the art of sculpture, and blacksmiths. Apparently this folds flat for easy storage. That's cool. Then it can fit in your bag. Um, feel the sound of bass impact. Bass impact converts low frequency bass tones into pulse around the ear of pads, letting you feel the sound. Para enabled. And 7.1 virtual surround sound. Gandius and I are giving away this the lovely Hephaestus V2, and one lucky winner will win one. But you guys have to watch till the end of the video. I need to wear these to get a feel for them. You guys know how sensitive my head is. I love very uh, soft feeling headphones because when I wear it too long, it just starts hurting my head. Don't get me started about turtle beaches. <laughs> Time to open. <laughs> okay. So here we are. It comes like this. Whoa, everything's dropping. All right, so we have a booklet. I'm pretty sure it has some directions in many multiple languages. And it's actually glossy. I Usually they make these books really cheap, but this is actually glossy. I'm actually surprised. But I honestly don't read tutorials or I don't, I don't read the books. I'm such a bad person. I've actually bought stuff from Ikea and never looked at the directions and then I wonder why why am I doing it wrong. So here is the headset, this is how it's presented. You have the cords here, um, let me just look at the cords so you guys can see it. There's a USB cord and that's probably just to plug it in. I guess it's plug and play, holy moly. You don't even need to plug in because usually some of these headsets have like the USB cable for powering it up and then they have like the two splitters, one for your head. Uh, for the headphone part and then the mic part, so that's interesting. And it can lay this way, okay, flat. You can fold it up like this. Over my. <laughs> Alright, I had to put down Charizard. Well, I didn't put Charizard down. Alright, I really like how these are really squishy. I only kind of wish there was a little bit more padding, like right over here. I just wish there was more. That would be a lot more comfortable. I like how soft this is. It might look big. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, it's actually really light. This you can adjust however you want. I need to test out the quality so you guys would know. Gosh, I feel like I'm a telemarketer. This is the Overwatch hotline. How are you? Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. So you guys can have like a little closer look at how everything looks. This dongle, you can trigger the lights to pulse or to make it stay solid. And you can actually turn off the light or turn it back on. Oh, there it is. You can turn it back on. You can mute yourself on the chat and you can also control how loud you want to hear things. If you don't want to do it in the computer, you can do it manually here. And look, let's make this pulse. Pulsating. So I have my trusty laptop. <laughs> I'm going to switch this over to my screen right now. Hello. Hi, everyone. So this is how the quality for the voice is. I think it's decent. I actually listened back to one. I actually enjoy it. It's not that bad. Um, because most of these headset mics are either really shit and poop or they're decent. Like this one is decent. Um, I think you can get away with doing some commentaries. And now we're gonna listen to the song. So, yeah. <laughs>
I'm actually uploading the clip. I don't know if you guys can hear my laptop. It's like, Foo. Foo. Anyway, um, these are actually really great headset. This is actually really comfortable. Um, they're actually very cool. Um, I actually heard a lot of the bass. Definitely feel like the depth of the music. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I didn't forget about the giveaway. So basically, all you have to do is enter the Gleam link. It's like down below over here. I'm gonna link it to you guys. If you guys wanna learn more about this headset, I'm gonna link you guys. This is V2. And then I will also link you guys the Gamdia's website. You guys can check out the other cool stuff. I actually use their uh, mechanical keyboards. I actually reviewed that last time. So you guys can also find that link below and also maybe put a little thumbnail annotate and you guys can click on here and go to that video too. I hope you guys like this review and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. I want to see your comments below and don't forget, let me know how you actually pronounce this so I don't really care how you spell it as long as you spell it the way you think it sounds like. The way it sounds like.